What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this Thursday. I'm doing very good myself. Still dealing with this little cold, but it's on its way out. I, I can feel it. It's just, you know, it's leaving. You understand? Look, uh, I come across this uh, crazy story right here. And basically what it boils down to is actually... The words of the Most High is manifesting in itself, okay? And uh, the reason why I say that is because this video I'm about to show y'all, you understand, you, that's a fish. And it takes place somewhere over in uh, China, right? And it's a fish. It's supposed to be some sort of carp fish, okay? And the uh, thing is, it has a human-like type face, Okay? That's what it, it boils down to. Now, in the book of Enoch, which is a book that was taken from, you know, the uh, the Bible, the the, uh, uh, the actual, you know, um, uh, uh, laws of Torah and all that, you know, what have you, because that's where the King James Bible, you know, is translated from. All right. But it talks about these things and how the fallen ones come down. And, uh, mingled themselves with the um, the daughters of men and took them to wives and made these monstrous giants and all that. And it also goes in, as this is chapter 7, you know, you just read chapter 7 of the book of Enoch and you'll see. And it also talks about how they sinned against, the, you know, uh, the animals of the beast of the field. You know, they sinned against um, fowls of the air. Every, they sin against every creepy and crawl of things like snakes, spiders, and what have you. You know, uh, they sin against the fish of the sea, right? And what it is, is they actually mingled their seed, you know, they their DNA with uh, the animals, okay? That's what it boils down to, and which made Nephilim. And they also taught men to do it right they talked it they actually taught the enemy to do it and this is what you finna see right here you understand now when you see how this fish act okay you can tell at least this is my analysis of it right this fish was created in some lab somewhere all right see now check this video out and then i'm going to show you um another video where they actually basically checking to see if it's you know fake or not which i know is real you know i can see for myself that is a real situation right here you know check this out but watch one thing that it does just watch one thing that it does it's not gonna have any sound because it's music playing by the way Now, you see the way it's doing? You see how it's looking up at the people that's got the camera on it? See? Now, what I believe, the reason why I say that this, this abomination actually comes out of a science lab, that abominable fish right there knows who those people are. He's a pet to those people right there. And the fish wants out of the water. That's basically what he's doing. That's the reason why he, he he's there. How many fish you know just gonna hang around, you understand, and just basically just try to, you know, uh, <laughs> get the people attention? Look at that thing, man. But that's basically what it is. Hang on a second. Get the next video up. To buy America's finest carpet. Hey, in tonight's Factor Fiction, we are looking into a video making the rounds over the last few days. It appears to show a carp with a face that looks disturbingly human. Look closely. The video has gone viral on social media, and it appears to be legit. We can't say it is, though, with 100% certainty. Now, the video was likely filmed somewhere in China based on the voices that are heard in the background. Media reports in Asia say a fish with a human face was also spotted in a pond in Japan back in April. 
In that case, a news agency got some close-up photographs of the fish, and while it definitely has human features, it clearly looks like a fish. There also was a similar sighting back in 2010, so it appears that this is a real fish that is periodically spotted. Tim, Kim, take a close look. You're no, not looking. No, I can't unsee it. Okay, all right. If you'd like to submit a question to us, just go to tennis.com and click on local news and then select fact or fiction. He wants to be your boyfriend. We'll be right back. <laughs> now you see what I mean? Yeah, it, it, it's actually, so it's a real fish if you can call it a fish, but really what it is, it's just a real small nephilim like type thing. Okay, it's an abomination. You have the fallen angels to thank for this kind of thing. This is the reason why, well, they on their way out too. This is where you get all of your uh, half, uh, well, you know, like the zodiac sign, Sagittarius. Okay, that's a Nephilim right there. You know, he was derived from the fallen ones and some sort of horse, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what this is all about, you know. And uh, look, they coming. Matter of fact, they're already in the flesh, some sort of flesh. They're in existence, okay? But let me read this little small article right here and everything, and uh, let's get into it. It says the lake has eyes. Tourists in southwestern China got a bit of a fright when they thought they spotted a human face floating through a lake. Turns out the spooky sight was actually a fish with some unique markings. <laughs> the fish which has been identified as a carp by U.S. Today, has its own normal fish eyes and mouth, but the dark markings on the fish head makes it look like it has a second set of more human-like features. This eerie optical illusion was caught on camera by one onlooker who spot the fish. Yeah, who spotted the fish. The footage has now gone viral unnerving animal lovers are all over the world okay well you know it's like i said i know what this is about they ain't fooling me and what they like to do is just like place play things down like oh it's, that's just a hoax that's not true no it is true trust and believe it is true right here you know uh like i said this stuff was all foretold in the father's word anyway you know so yeah y'all get ready because this is real if you ever get a chance check out the book of enoch i'm going to read a small verse right quick let me see get over here now this is chapter seven and this is verse one and uh like i said the book of enoch you got the book of jasher and some other books explains all about what actually happened you know after where genesis leaves off you know you know in the beginning you know and when it says there were giants in the earth in those days and what they came and did to the daughters of Adam and took them away. Well, this gets more in depth right here, okay? And it says, and all the others together with them took unto themselves wives and each chose himself one. And they became, well, they began to go into them and defile themselves with them and they taught them charms enchantments and then the charms and all that kind of stuff and enchantments is all like witchcraft voodoo and all that kind of stuff and the cutting of roots that's all voodoo and they made them acquainted with plants all right and they became pregnant that goes from him you know when they went into them and who they talking about is actually the fallen angels themselves what they did all right and it continues in verse two and they became pregnant and they bear great giants whose height was 3000 l's okay these things are monsters i'm telling you verse three who consume all the acquisitions of men and when men could no longer sustain them the giants turned against them and devoured mankind they started eating up people right Verse 5, and they begin to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles, those are the creepy crawly things, and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusations 
accusations against the lawless ones. Against the lawless ones. That's what it goes on to say. But yeah, that's what they did, you know. And when you know they sin against um, uh, uh, the fish, that just means okay, now the giants that the fallen angels came into when they when they went to, 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 to mingle their seed with our ancestors' mothers, our ancestral mothers, okay? Because they that's who they are. There's Eve and all that. It was more than one Eve. What I'm saying It's more than one Adam. See, they made those monsters. They made those giants, okay? And those giants went on to go and do other abominable things. And then I'm going to tell you too, Cain himself was a giant. The one that is said to have slewed his half-brother, Abel. He was a monster. He was a giant. See, he was an abomination. Anything that the fallen angels came down here and did that was not authorized from the Most High, guess what? They're abominations, and that's just all there is to it. The first, uh, what was it, um, clue, you understand, to the movie like, to, the, the, that it was all about uh, the fish and how giants, you know, came, well, the, the, the fallen angels came and mingled their seeds like with the fish, was the movie uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, okay? That thing had man-like his form was like a man, but yet still it was scaly and he was scary looking and monsters fish, fish looking features. See, and that just comes from, oh, in the movie was remade, uh, called the color of water. They remade the movie, you know, and, uh, yeah, it was that right there is a non fictional abominational, abominable creature. Just say that all of that. That's all abominable. That, that, that is nonfiction right there. It's true. In other words, you know, so yeah, that's what this is all about. You know, nothing to be surprised about when you know, see, but it's when the fear comes when you don't understand something, when you don't know, but we know what this is about simply because we gets into the father's word and we go beyond and we learn simply because we need to know these things. And, uh, cause these are the things that's coming back. They are already basically around us. Their souls are floating around us and all that kind of stuff. If you, a lot of you may not be familiar with my uh, videos. Uh, what was it? Uh, to the black sector of YouTube, we are being watched. Signs and, and also the other one, signs and wonders in the air. Uh, see why the, the third one is like, see why I say live your life as though we are being watched, you know. Those three videos right there, you know what I mean, goes in and it shows the actual pictures of these souls, these spirits floating around us. Now, some of them could be angels. I don't know. I'm not really sure. But some of them are the same things, you know what I mean, that I believe that CERN, you know, uh, opened the threshold for, for them to bring from other dimensions. Okay. Pastor Steve Darby talked all about these spirits, you know, uh, 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 um, coming from other dimensions because of what CERN did, open that gate, you know, from the come through, you know, and what have you. But the thing is this, it's nothing to be afraid of because we are aware and we do have the father, you understand, protecting us through his son, you see, Yahushua. And that's just all there is to it. That's what this is all about, you see. So there it is, you know, I mean, more evidence just keeps coming. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this uh, story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all, you know, opinions on it. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.